Hey everyone, hey and welcome back to yet another episode of Battle Rap Resume. This is your host, Tom Quee here. We are back for yet another top 10. Uh, today we're doing top 10 don't flop robberies. I know this is going to get people in their feelings, it's going to get people salty. This is going to get people querying why we even judge written, you know, pieces of art, you could say. And we're going to dig into that, you know, we're going to get involved in this. It's very lighthearted. It gives an excuse to check out battles that maybe we haven't touched upon and stuff like that. Just before we get into this list, just before we get into the guest as well, uh, at Power Up Resume on the Twitter, um, follow us there. You get ac- well, you don't get access to anything really. You get access to my thought stream of consciousness about Battle Rap mostly and episodes that are coming up. You know, retweets and stuff like that. If you want to follow the show, it's the best place for all the information. Uh, Battle Resume at gmail.com If you want to get in touch with the show as well, a bit more long form. You, you want to come on the show. Uh, you want to offer praise. You want to you want to hate me. It's all there. It's an open forum. I will respond. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Battle Rap Resume as well. If you want to give back to the show, everything that's on the channel goes on there first. Uh, you help keep us running you help to um pay for nando's and ubers uh, the battle at resume uh you know expenditure there but um no seriously uh leave a review as well on itunes is a great way to support the show uh subscribe comment all that good stuff but um yeah today we're doing uh top turn don't flop robberies as i say and uh jacob how's it going man yeah, I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on. Of course, of course, man. And um, I, I'm a, I think you tweeted the show quite a fair bit, actually, so I'm definitely yeah. aware of you for a while. Yeah, I mean, with stuff like this show and you ruin your day, it's sort of filled a void, hasn't it? You know, since Don't Flop's been gone, that yeah. sort of regular stream of battles hasn't been coming in. Stuff yeah. like this has kept us going, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's mad, isn't it? You know, now that the Don't Flop force has been turned off, kind of how spoiled we were as fans, like, a few years yeah. ago. You don't realise, I mean, every sort of weekend tuning in and seeing a new one uploaded and it's, I mean, you're struggling now because King of the Dot obviously don't host events as often now either. Mm. So, yeah, you're struggling now. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a weird it's a weird time, and and you know you yeah. came you came to uh, well I think we sort of we definitely wanted to do an episode together. And we were sort of discussing a few ideas and stuff, and um, yeah. this idea, I mean, you know, I, I mean, let's talk judging battles first of all, because because what we're going to get into uh, is uh, ten or so battles that we feel you know have a slightly erroneous, and I say we feel loads of the comments as well. You know, we're not yeah, really. Definitely pulling any left field ones we're not we're not going to say oh jefferson price got robbed against caustic and you're just <laughs> you're just reading that wrong you know we're going to go with kind of the obvious ones that most of you i'm sure can think of the top of your head anyway but i mean judging a battle rap jacob like is that is that possible to do accurately i think it is but it i mean sometimes the styles differ so much that it's it's whatever you like so in that sense no it's not mm. but if you got two rappers who have similar styles then yeah I think you can judge it. It, it as well though it just depends on who your judges are doesn't it I mean especially in something like battle rap it's not like a sport where the, the judges don't know these people this, this is a could be a circle of friends and they could mm. just vote for that person mm-hmm. so yeah it's a difficult one yeah, it, it, it is. Yeah, and like we're going to touch upon as well the judging as a whole in these, yeah. and you know, it's always brilliant because you know you, you get you get these verdicts, but you do actually get to see you know what people genuinely think, why they made a decision. Sometimes they'll yeah. sort of just say someone's name, and it's like okay, that wasn't really enough. But other times, I get you watch a lot of battles; it's a long day. And um, yeah. let's get into it, and let's get into a battle that. When I said top ten, uh, you know, robberies on this dear old league of ours, this was one. This is one that got mentioned a hell of a lot. This is Caustic versus Mr. Thirteen. So when them cameras go off, shit can get as ignorant for you as I want it to get. I ain't coming for the extra shit, but my team's deep. If you want beef, so stick to the bars, and we might let you leave for in one piece. We ain't no country bunkers. My my dudes are from the bits. Some of them are running with a tool up on their hips. So you're the one that'll never be seen again. But get free G's and start moving to the sticks. <laughs> I mean, I swear to God, that eye must sneak off in the middle of the night and go as it does this criminal bullshit that you write. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. There's something I forgot to mention that's important. I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a giant fucking M on your forehead. <laughs> I mean, you should probably have that checked. I mean, you need a haircut by any means necessary. You Malcolm X. It sounds like you're fucking the bar. <laughs> Oh, mate, yeah. Terrible decision. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't know what. To be fair to Mr. 13, having watched it back recently, yeah. he does give a clean performance. And he does, yeah. you know, it is one of his better performances, but... I just think in general, Caustic's unbeatable. Mm. I really do feel that. I think 
he breaks people down so well and he just he just clowned on him that whole battle yeah. And, uh, yeah yeah it was a bad one it, it, it was because it's kind of I think one of the things about robberies that gets people so aggrieved is when you see a brilliant performance and you know they, they don't come out with a W and like I'm not the biggest Caustic fan not not that I dislike him I'm just you know I'm not seeing too many of his battles by the obvious ones yeah. this is such a good performance by him it, he's, he's really like original and funny in this battle yeah I think to be fair with the Jefferson Price one yeah I think he went to. He, he, I mean, everyone always says that he did. He did. He did cross a line in that battle. Whereas in this battle, he's just having fun, mm. and you know, he's just making fun on his sort of personal appearance as opposed to like anything really deep within his life. Yeah. So yeah, so it is a clean, clean performance from it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all the stuff about you know his hair. Um, the, yeah. the M on his forehead. Um, the walked into a barber shop and asked for a falcon's crest. Yeah, um, or, yeah. all <laughs> uh, the hairlines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and like one of the bars that he does, which kind of makes me love battle rap. These moments that just you know could only happen in this certain segment, and he goes for it. When Cool Sticks talks about you know his hair being the letter M and how that's the thirteenth letter of the alphabet. Do you know what? As well, yeah. I thought this. I mean, I had to think to myself, is that, how has that worked out so well? Is, has Mr. 13 done it for that reason? Right. Because that it just seems so random that, that, that that's how it is. Mm, mm. Yeah, I think at the time when I first watched it, I counted on my hands just to make sure, yeah. and it was just like, oh god, mmm. Like, I literally yeah. had to reuse the letter. I was just like, I was like, you know, and it's you know, as you say, for, Mr. 13 is clean. You know, he has yeah. sort of elements that work for him he just has some like weird stuff like in his third where he's talking about like taking a shit in obama's office and stuff yeah he does he does come with some quite obscure angles doesn't he and throughout mm. it i mean he, i did like there's definitely some great one lines in there like going back to cali thinking about life after death stuff yep. like that and yeah all the kind of obama stuff where he's on about wiping his arms with the stars and stripes <laughs> it's <laughs> i mean yeah the, the american angle is just a bit sort of played mm. out isn't it i think Mm, mm, it's a yeah. bad, bad decision from it but I mean it, I just think overall Caustic just destroyed him 3-0 I, don't, I really yeah. don't understand where I, I don't know if it is because partly because it is was his final final battle whether you know and there's no American judges either that's another thing I picked up on there's no oh, American right. judges for the decision so it's all London rappers you know mm, so mm, read into mm. that what you will yeah, the, yeah. As you say, there is a sense of occasion. It's Mister Thirteenth's Thirteenth Battle, uh, which you yeah. know he chose to retire, and, and interestingly hasn't returned. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I mean, he did. He, he says something, doesn't he, about moving from the to the I don't know staff room or something in right. the battle. But yeah, I mean, he was staff for a bit, wasn't he? Got a lot of hate, no bless. <laughs> I don't know if that um, put him off. Yeah, he definitely went through the gauntlet uh, of those yeah. comments, and then Caustic's lines are kind of a kind of a kind of a taster there. But yeah, I mean, it, I guess that's what happened. I guess you know the judges stuck their fingers in their ears and just you know la la la. It's his last battle. He's you know he's don't yeah. flop, and you know, but it's just. I mean, you know, Don't Flop's built on this bedrock of judging, you know, all stems from, uh, you know, being slighted by Jump Off and wanting fair judges and yeah, non-bias yeah. represent representation. And then before his very eyes, uh, you know, Mr. 13 is crowned. And, you know, just caustic, just create, even like found dead in the crib, like the baby from Train Spotting. Like, yeah, he does come with some nice um, sort of London references. He says something about um, Jen's dog's like from Snatch mm, something mm, like mm. that be in the gym yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. does come with some good stuff and even the um, leave a red stripe across your chest like I'm still in a Jamaican bit I quite like that as well right 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 yeah 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 there, there's some yeah I mean Caustic has that sort of just classic way of putting bars together the, yeah. the kind of when you actually think about it it's even better like it's just it's not there's a double meaning it's just kind of constructed uh, in a very satisfying you know uh, rapper way and, and yeah I mean Again, I want to say as well to everyone listening, please comment if you think we're wrong. If you think, if you thought that Mr. 13 beat Caustic, like, it's cool. No one is going to comment on this one, sure. <laughs> on, the, on this battle, surely not. Like, would... This is so one sided, yeah. this battle. So one sided. Yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to kick off with one that I knew, you know, everyone would yeah. sort of be on the same page with. So, I mean, you know. Yeah, because, I mean, definitely, with, just to say, mm. obviously the, the video's titled um, Robberies, but having watched a lot of them back, they, I suppose they just the wrong decision as opposed to I mean this one definitely was a robbery but there's some on the list that are 
closer now having had a, another look at them so. yeah 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 no no i agree and you know we go from a battle where you know one person clearly taking it to yep. you know this is again this is a battle and I've discussed this. I, I've had both of these battles on the show, actually. Um, I can't remember what I said, actually, to Tony, but I definitely told Raptor on the show that he beat Tony. I leg all that title so I could pick and choose. So had my thoughts been on track, I'd have skipped you again, like an interlude. But it's a colourful matchup. But it'll be a colourful matchup, they said. And this the living proof in black and white. For that green, I run it red. He sing the blues. This mm. when I don't read books and I ain't book smart. Don't think I'm some sort of a retard. You read books to see through the author's eyes I read people to see if they authorize from street smart you read books to find bars I read books behind bars so something you read books to find bars I read books behind bars so I will say that you know always 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 like it's you know Tony's great in this don't get me wrong but it's just watching it back Raptor has so many moments he's so just compelling to watch yeah. and he's, he's writing so explosive and original like it, 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 this is a real robbery for me like Raptor deserved to win this battle yeah no absolutely I agree I mean he just overpowered him mm. his performance was so overpowering the way he delivered the, the punchlines it, it just sort of overshadowed anything Tony did I think yeah yeah. and I, I'm a big Tony D fan as oh, well yeah. I mean obviously since he for his whole title and even before that and he's, he's another one who, who dares to have his battles judged you know what I mean mm -hmm. you've got to definitely give him respect for that but I think just in this one, definitely, yeah, Raptor should have got the decision easily, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, I mean, it, you know, it, it happens. Of course, it happens, and yeah. I'm sure people can argue that they fought Tony win. But you've just, you know, I think I said this before to Raptor again. But like, there's certain crutches that Tony relies on. Um, you know, like the shotty angle, but even more blatantly, you know, scheming off the card or sort of just yeah. doing, you know, these th stuff really he could do to anyone. Yeah, really, yeah, 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 yeah. Ex exactly. And do like a rookie versus vet scheme that, that was that was really nice. That, you know, this why T and all that like really yeah. good stuff but yeah it just kind of I think I think Raptor just he, he encapsulated everything that was so brilliant about him brought it to this main stage environment you know took on you know, who, who doesn't think Tony D is one of the greatest ever like you know there's absolutely no doubt in that and he, he you know he went toe to toe and it's just I, you know you can't help but feel a little bit cheated personally can't you when you watch some of these battles it's just it, yeah. it, does, it does get under my it, it annoys me sometimes when it probably yeah. shouldn't I was going to say this. I mean, do you do you not think that judge battles can, if they go the wrong way, they can definitely ruin replay value for the battle? Right, I think yeah. If you're a fan of a certain battler, then you. I mean, I go into every battle. I, I will have a favourite mm. in that battle, but if I think they lost, then they lost. I won't, you know, say they won just because I like that person. Um, but I think when the person you like battles and loses or gets bad, a bad decision against me it doesn't make me I wouldn't want to watch the battle again mm. because it, it'll wind me up it sort of gets under my skin that they lost mm -hmm. yeah yeah it, because I mean they put so much time into preparing it and it's something I'd never dare do yeah. to go up there and then get yeah judges ruin the sort of decision for you it's just, yeah it's a bit annoying isn't it mm -hmm. yeah it is and you know it, it's everyone likes a happy ending i guess to a certain extent so it's just yeah. kind of you know sometimes it can just be a bit uh, a bit a bit weird to watch that back and you know um our, our, th our third one that i want to talk about which is uh, an interesting battle actually uh, for a lot of reasons matter versus saurus yeah, yeah, classic. But am I a hypocrite? Yes, I'm about to contradict what I said. It's time to face those face jokes. Just give me a sec. <laughs> you got the face of a cow fucker. You bathe in a vat of sofa. It's pasty and badly puckered with craters of rancid blubber. I swear I've seen him complaining about he suffers on information. The lads that cover the dangers of acupuncture. Listen. <laughs> Shots fired outside of your crib in a suit of camo. Ain't no safety from my click when I'm using ammo. Wait, let me give him a new example. Shoot an arrow through his apple. They'll be draining juice off of his head like he's supernatural I mean a great battle from both yep. of them no doubt but it's I think this is the only battle we have where and I, I don't think I've ever really seen this in battle maybe a few times where the person wins Saurus wins but he instantly says oh no Matt I won that yeah see this is another thing I was going to say I quite like that mm. I think that that can redeem the battle if a bad decision if they come out and say look no he won that I remember Ness Lee did it with Shai Horror didn't he over yes. the King of the Dark he yeah, said at yeah. the end you know Shai got it and yeah I mean 
this is another one. Like this is a this is definitely a robbery, and as obviously Saurus is a is a legend, probably the best of all time. But I don't know if maybe they got a bit starstruck, or maybe it was his first yeah. appearance, wasn't it? On Don't Block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. This is one I've got to be honest, uh, Jacob. Like when we were putting this list together, we kind of put a through here, and you know, this is one that came up quite obviously. Watching it yeah. back. I, I th- Are you edging it to Soros? I am, actually. Yeah, I am. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. I mean, I he am. definitely takes the first round. Yeah. Um, but I've got Matter taking the second two because he kind of chokes, doesn't he, in both rounds. Both he does. The second two. I know the second round his choke isn't anywhere near as bad as the, um, the third, but, mm. yeah, I just... I think Matt is definitely one of the most consistent people in Don't Block. Mm. I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I don't remember him choking ever. Yeah, no, I don't either, yeah. You know, he's got his soul battle. He's so oh. many classics, Matt has had. And I think Euphorical. Was, uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. one of my favourites, that battle. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah that's such a good battle. But yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're if you're edging it to um, Soros, I mean, he did have some great lines in it. I liked the um, Leeds United versus Leonidas. Leonidas, yeah, great, yeah, great yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't, um, I don't, I don't think Soros's writing is that good in this, really. I think compared to like, like I'm obviously huge Soros fanboys, everyone is, but yeah. compared to say like a QP or a Topper or you know, uh, even yeah, Fresco, yeah. like he seems to have been a, he's a bit more of a writer now. It seems he was been a, of a lay period in that sense of his his, his yeah. kind of work and craft. There, he wasn't as striking i never really considered him much of a writer i do much more now but yeah it is i think i am starstruck like everyone else i think like i do really like matter but yeah. he's almost a little mumbly compared to the sheer clarity that saurus has <laughs> yeah i mean matter does come with a lot of um sports sort of angles he as does. well which they can go i mean it, you're just still relying on people being into to that sport or Saurus yeah. Yeah, and Saurus knowing what the hell he's on about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well it's like that grime scheme with the 100 bullets does and Saurus is like what the hell are you talking about like yeah and the, so. the, see the, the Saurus he, he just turns it on him by saying I, d- I don't know what you're on about yeah, you know? yeah. Like, it, it becomes irrelevant <laughs> even in a crowd like it I mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and it, yeah it's you know Matt has some great stuff here the whole sort of you know um, Saurus embarrassing his daughter you know when they're chilling and you know yeah. battles aren't always written with a pen and just you know there are some really funny stuff and obviously it's just any fourth birthday battle um, he's always a joy to go back and revisit you know because oh, it, yeah, it, it was such a such a marquee event but yeah this is um, you know this is another one where uh, you know, is is it a robbery for matter? I, I can sort of see. It. I can if you if you judge battles on rounds and choking, therefore lose your round. Then obviously, on that principle, matter wins. Yeah, I mean the term robbery it does get thrown around. I do yeah. it myself. I'm, yeah. I'm oh, it's yeah. a robbery, but I mean two one isn't a robbery anyway, really. Mm. And I think a lot of these rounds are close, and you have to really dig into the lines and you know like count them if you will like see yeah. who has more punch lines or whatnot because some some people especially Ilmac is writing so you know dense that you just you can go off and not really have a punchline until right at the end you know you've got to listen to the whole thing and appreciate his skill mm. um, whereas if he was battling someone like Shox who's punching every bar like it's you know it's hard to judge that sort of battle Mm, mm. Yeah, I I remember. I mean, someone in the comments has to remind me the intricacies of it. But I remember Nameless has like a famously a judging system for judging battles, um, yeah. which is kind of based. And I know Rome DMV, the um, the vlogger as well, definitely has a point system as well. I mean, yeah. it kind of you know, um, I, I think it was John Keats who talked about. You know, or was it Yates? They talked about scientists trying to you know. It's like trying to unstitch a rainbow. Like it's just trying to you know. You're trying to <laughs> uh, trying to understand magic, isn't it? And it's kind of like with battling. Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, if you go literally point for point for point, it's like, well, he has more punches, but he wrapped long. You know, there can be yeah, some kind of. It's a difficult one as well, especially if the, I think a lot of the time, if the person goes last or, you know, second, that can impact as well because, yeah. you know, you're remembering what's just happened. And some, some of these battles um, that I've watched back, the, per, the other person's um, rounds a lot longer. So mm. if they're going second and their rounds longer. You know, it's, it's quite a, a disadvantage for the other person. Yeah, yeah. Saurus has a notably second, uh, short second round in this battle. Does, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I, think, know, I think he does. He choke towards the end. Yeah, he freestyles a little bit. He does. And he, he goes back to something, but yeah, I think he maybe forgot the rest. Yeah, yeah. I, think I just went with Matters rounds um, two and three. I thought yeah. Saurus definitely took the first one. 
Yeah. Uh, but I suppose, yeah, the second is, is debatable. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, you know, I know a lot of people are sort of turn their nose, but I, like, I, don't, I personally don't think a choke ruins a round. Um, no, you, you no. Know. no. I mean, especially if you're someone like Saurus who can freestyle. And I think yeah. he, his freestyles are so good that people appreciate him for just doing that. Yeah, yeah, and he's he's kind of getting out of that mess where he talks about going to the bar and forgetting who you are. Like it's you can really yeah. see his brain working as he's doing it. Yeah. Like it's really good to watch. Yeah, 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 he's cool. He is great. And um, it's cool as well. Just finally on this battle, um, obviously the stars were out of that era, and you see, you know, in the judging, you know, uh, Doc Brown, Rizzle, yeah. uh, Jamal Edwards is there. Yeah, it was a huge event, wasn't it? I remember yeah. like Getz and stuff yeah. being there, like when Shotty was battling at Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, rival and whatnot. But yeah, yeah. I think that was definitely the. I, I mean, they've had huge shows since, but as far as what, remembering back, that was the pinnacle, that event. Oh, yeah. Fourth birthday. They had so many good battles on. And yeah, it was just, just legendary. That one. With that, with To the Test 10 are my favourite two yeah. events, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think I think those are the ones you definitely got to point to. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I love Sunburn too as well. I'm not saying it's quite on that level, but that is that's got a lot of good battles as well. Sunburn two, the one with where Big J says the sensor. Um, but... Yeah, yeah, and it, well, it's where um, Raptor versus Tony, and you know all those other, oh, other, yeah, 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 yeah. other robberies that we have past yeah. mentioned uh, yeah, of, yeah. Of, uh, of went down. Now I want to get to um, another battle, which for me is a blatant robbery. Um, okay. I, you know I can't understand people saying um, that the other guys won. Uh, so this is Yunan and Lise, uh, who I had robbed against Bam and Cystic. Yo, props to that guy for filming a sick <laughs> round, dude. After, <laughs> after this round. You'll be like him, kicked out too. Ah! Fuck it, listen, Bambi. You look like a, a fucking. Listen, Bambi. You look like a member of Brother Ali's distant family. A fucking <laughs> villain's Andy. <laughs> I'm here to rap and cause some pain to this average northern snake. Your bait vid for everybody hates Chris has 100k hits. That is awesome, awesome mate. Mm. But it's featuring. Da- yeah, definitely. I mean, I've got. A- I've, I've marked the other rounds, not not so like clearly, but I've I've just gone like you and Elite three O easily. Yeah, I, don't, I really yeah again I don't I just don't understand I don't. No. I, I think Yunan pick, picks it up in one of the rounds, doesn't he? Saying that you know it's questionable why Bamalam's in the tournament when he's a member of staff, you know, mm. um, and in, in feeding them information and whatnot. And it just seems that even more dodgy now, does. Wasn't it that they they got the decision when you know it was, it was easily three home. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was just a shame, really. Like the thing, of, I, I always say this about the two on two tournament. It had a fantastic roster of talent. It had great teams. The matchups yeah. were a little iffy. Yeah, um, definitely. You yeah. know, the, the they're really you you and Elise versus Dialect and Zen. Why is, yeah. why isn't that round two? I, exactly, like, yeah. like, like, I, I know you kind of want to seed it and you want to have a big final, but we got a shit final. C major and Cracker bodied them. Yeah, I mean, I think they should have had less teams to begin with. So you got some great battles early on, and then mm. you knew you were going to get a big battle next instead of having your, you know, because I think it was it like all. And Rogue and yeah. all these kind of teams are in it. Was Jay Smug was in it, wasn't it? Jay Smug was in the first round, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, so chat. yeah, I mean, you got all your. It, it gave some of the battlers like an amazing performance because they just went out and destroyed the like, mm, mm. <laughs> dialect and thingy destroying yeah. crisis music that we scored. Oh. Like that, that was just you know it was just a, a stage for them to perform, wasn't yeah. it? Really, as opposed to lose the potentially lose the battle. True, true, true. Yeah, and it's just you know, you've got to really sort of judge it on, on on memory alone. Like, what do you remember from these rounds? If you haven't made any notes or anything like that, and it, you know, there's a lot from like you and Elise just kind of do what they did before. You know, they yeah. don't really swap it up that much. But Bamalam and Cystic, they just like together. They I don't know. They may be really sleepy. Yeah, I mean, I to be honest, I thought Cystic was better. I yeah. think Cystic came with a couple of good lines, especially when he sort of brought up the Frankie Fraser sort of writing his, his mm. lines and stuff um, known as the rapper who had to use someone else's bars to be two Cam and Callum Booth right yeah yeah he came yeah. with some good stuff um, but yeah I mean uh, I think Bamalam was just he sort of went on a bit too long and his timing was off and he was mm. using sort of the same word 
do you know what I mean? Right. Like, to, to, to end on and stuff. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, it, w- it wasn't a good performance from them too at all. Like you say, they, I mean, Yunnan and Chris Lee did stick to the same formula. I remember not, what, listening to your uh, Yunnan episode, actually. Mm. He said that, didn't he? He yeah, didn't yeah. want to carry on because, you know, the fans had already seen it. Mm, mm. Um, but I do think that the crowd matters as well, and the crowd was so flat at this event. Mm, true. I remember a lot of the battles that fell quite flat at this event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that is right. Yeah, they had the Orcs and Rogue two on two. I think Mickey versus Eek went down here as well, if I believe. Possibly. Yeah. Did, um, did um, Nishi and Mr. 13 not battle on this one? No, well? they, uh, that that was a really good two on two battle, though, that was. Um, With then C Major C and Major Cracker, and Cracker yeah. yeah, in the uh, YouTube studio. Mm. Yeah, mm. dope battle. Re- yeah, like, it battle. Like, like, it was proper WRC style battle where there's a tiny smattering of crowd, you know, um, yeah. just kind of. Yeah, I loved it. I really, really loved that battle. Yeah, those but. sort of, yeah, that kind of old style. I like um, Ogmios QP. That's another really yeah, good one. Yeah, that is a, a domestic. Small, like someone's living room. Yeah, li- I think it literally was. I think it was yeah. um, Sunny Bamboo's living room, perhaps, yeah, or someone, yeah. someone affiliated. But but yeah, I just, you know, I'm not trying to extol, like, Yudlan and, and Lee's in this battle. Like, I think they are really good, but I'm not trying to be like, oh, they're the greatest ever or anything like that. You know, there's a lot of sort of Yudlanisms at a bottomless creek with Aristotle politicking, like, you know, it's just... Um... Yeah, well, he plays on that, though, doesn't he, yeah. at the start? He says he, they play on the fantasy rap film and yeah, build yeah. up to his sort of a, I'm a monstrosity again. Like, yeah. And, he, you know, he, d- he does kind of play on that. And, but, yeah, I think towards the end it gets a bit samey doesn't it mm, yeah battle. yeah yeah it, do, it does and you know Chris is there I think Chris is quite good actually I, lo- I love his flip on the guy with the phone in the crowd yeah yeah Chris Lees is yeah definitely underrated oh yeah um, I mean in this he, he's brilliant in, in, in this tournament especially I know the Charlie Clips one wasn't part of the tournament I didn't mm. really like that battle but no. their first battle is just legendary for that yeah. for that one moment if anything <laughs> yeah but th- they were really good together like you yeah, know they yeah, were they were. Very... I think if you were to pick a dream team for two that, they'd definitely be one of them because they are so aggressive and yeah. they fit so much into like a I think in this is sort of like three minute rounds aren't they they're really long mm-hmm. and, but it packs so much into that so much ferocity and then yeah it just flips to Bam and Sister because there's nothing really coming back there's mm. no crowd reaction at all to their stuff no and it just falls flat and it, I mean what are the judges seeing in this one I don't yeah yeah I don't because it's like if you know you were getting like soul level penmanship and it's like yeah. okay fair enough then you know it's very cerebral it's working on that inner level but it's just not really like, I think Archaic points out quite rightly that you know because Yunnan brings out the apron you, you got to flip the apron and like yeah. Cystic yeah. has a really like lame flip to it you know what I mean yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, like you said, if you've got something that blatant on the plate, you need to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think, but uh, having said all this, uh, I mean, Yunnan does use a lot of um, sort of race angles and stuff to get a bit sure. boring, don't they, after a while? Yeah, but yeah. I think, I mean, I know Yunnan and uh, I think Bamalan wanted to battle Yunnan. He, said, he mentions that quite a lot, doesn't mm-hmm. he? So he wanted a one-on-one with them. And I think that would have been a good battle then to um, just against each other, but in this two on two format it just yeah just falls flat and they don't work as a team they don't I mean sometimes it can be a bit cheesy when they finish each other's lines but yeah. it, it works with Chris Leeds and you know I think they're, they've really prepped well for their stuff but Bam and Sistic on the other hand don't mm. and yeah uh, they, they lost this easy yeah yeah they did and you know yeah they you know they went through they went further and they had a sort of just yeah kind of lackluster they who did they battle after this? Was this sort of to be in the final? Yeah, didn't no no didn't they battle Bowski and Big Sarters? Oh uh, yeah, see another team that <laughs> just could have been skipped out because I mean who's looking forward to Bam and Sistic versus Bowski and Big Sarters? Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I do I, like I, I do like Bowski. As yeah, well. of like, course. He's had some classic battles, but it's just not a, a match anyone would wish for, really, is it? I think if they'd have, if they'd have cut some of the teams that just had some of the big names in there like you uh, Bam and Cystic to a certain degree just for Bam but skipping out your Orcs and Rogue and just, you know just going for it with a dialect and Zen versus C Major and Cracker oh. for instance you know what I mean oh it's God. like straight in like that and then you're going to get you're guaranteed to get some good battles oh man just just yeah that battle like that yeah. battle at that at that time as well like obviously it could, could still go down but it was just they were everyone was just on their A game especially seeing C and Dialect like battling each other yeah like that, you know that's a good that's a good shout for a 
a future battle that I mean oh. I don't know if C's got any intention on coming back because mm. yeah, for me he's top five of all yeah. time in Don't Fly I love C Major stuff he's always he comes up with yeah. battle always <laughs> Yeah, yeah, shout out. Yeah, C is incredible. Uh, always praising C, always praising 10,000 hours as well. You know, yeah, un- yeah. Unbelievable release. Um, shout out, Dave did a little review there. But we'll get into the um, the next battle. Now, this is a battle that's been brought up to me before. It's a battle that um, I didn't really remember too much before I rewatched it. Um, but it, it's got me rediscovering someone. We mentioned him a little, a little while before, who I feel was slept on in his day. Um, I feel Jay Smug was robbed against Villain. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, I agree. But we all fucking love you. So I'll start by saying this. Your name, sick. Just imagine that moment that it came to him. He was probably so amazed with it, he started arranging this occasion with his mates and him. Called him up, got him sat, sat him down, got him gathered around like, some of you might faint, so sit, wait for this. My battle name will be a common phrase with some sort of crime or dangerous thing that's associated with, but the spelling will be changed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lace her blood, she'll take quite a few hits like a street fighter move. Then I'll tell her something nice, like your eyes look like stars that reside beside the moon. <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll push her from a sky high roof. When she dies, then you... To be honest, I think I maybe have watched this battle once, so I rewatched it because yeah. um, I couldn't remember it at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Jay Smug does. I think Jay Smug wins a battle with one line in this. As, as soon as he starts his opening round, you annoying little fucking twat. It's yeah. Just, <laughs> it just takes the battle. Like, <laughs> villains just re- villains got a couple of really like great performances with J90 and um, oh, yeah. Yunnan battles. They're, they're really good villain performances. He does have some dodgy ones as well. Yeah like really bad like this the the archaic one isn't great no and then um sunny bamboo yeah he just kind of cooked him didn't he so, yeah yeah i think jay smug yeah really good in this i think he had a really bad battle though didn't he um the one before oh apparently. tom kane tom kane yeah, yeah. awful yeah yeah really yeah. uh one of, the mo- one of the most disliked don't flop demo battles i believe um, yeah so you know. i mean villain does go at him you know talking about i rap you speak and rhyme which is, yeah you know, it's it is true but yeah, I mean, is it, it's not really enough of an angle to win a battle on. It's it's not, no. And, you know, Jay Smug really was a prototype for, like, your modern Juans, etc. Yeah, you know, yeah, you, you, you Rob Wilson's. Like, he's kind of that missing link um, that, you know, people sort of see. But I remember I remember Jay Short was on the show quite a while ago now, and he was, like, ex- you know, praising Jay Smug as one of the best, like, line-for-line writers, like, in terms yeah, of just yeah. attacking someone. And you write, like, villain. I love villain, as you say. He has a very sort of, you know, higher-minded kind of, you know conscious you know whatever like you know what i mean and it goes into yeah. quite a dense sort of but if you have someone like jay smug who just he just you know says your shit um you know clowns on your lines that sort of stuff just goes for you like you can't really you can't really resist that no you can't i mean i like his um he references the era ph battle as well doesn't he in this mm, one like, mm. uh, these white uh, white knights are a classic, classic pair, pair, yeah. they match your hair like i did like that and he yeah. does yeah he just clowned on him again it's another one like that isn't it it's, it's two completely different styles i know villain does come with the odd joke but like you say his writing is so sort of compact and he, he sometimes finishes his his um verse with something that doesn't rhyme Mm. And it sort of just falls flat. He did it with, um, he did it against Archaic as well, didn't he? I can't remember what he said. He said something about your YouTube views don't compare to mine and just shouted it. And it right. didn't rhyme with what he was saying. He did it in this battle as well. I can't really, can't yeah. remember what it was. He, uh, he, me- he mentions the views as well, like, because Jay's not <laughs> yeah. quite tall. Your views are in a higher position. Like, my views are in a higher position regardless of the eye level. And yeah. I mean, just Jay Smith just has loads of funny stuff. Like when he's breaking down his name, he's like, oh, something associated with dangerous thing, but he's changed the spelling a bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that is good. And that, it's true as well. Yeah. Like, he, he lists off all the, the, the sort of names like your disaster, Swave Sever and stuff. And, yeah. yeah, just clowned him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it's a good battle, actually. I quite enjoyed this battle watching it. Back. Yeah. Uh, Jay Smug has a horrible third round, but yeah. his, his first two are really good, you know? Right? And, um, <laughs> they are, they are. He um he has a really nice line actually that's kind of it needs a little bit of work but it's quite uh, it's quite creative I quite like it where he's talking about villain writing high and writing bad stuff all that writing on green has left your writing on green with a grammar yeah. check yeah I thought this yeah no one reacts do yeah, they it's kind nice of, but yeah it's it, yeah it's a it's a good bar that I, I just like it a bit where he go plays on the sort of um him being called James and you know villain being the bad guy yeah yeah and yeah if at any point it looks like I'll lose I'll just escape and have sex I quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's good, good, good. But, you know, I think that 
it made more sense if I'm being conspiratorial in a sort of more authentic hip hop sense for someone like Villain. I think, you know, nowadays Jay Smug would be probably more popular than ever. Like, you know. Yeah. 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 I mean, like you say with, with him, he sort of did open the door for people who maybe thought, oh, people who aren't necessarily rappers, but they like rap, they like rap. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So he, he rhymes, but he doesn't, you know, he doesn't come with any kind of um, flow or anything. No, no. And it no. opened the door for people who, who maybe wanted to do this, but didn't have that sort of flow. And um, yeah, he, he's kind of a pioneer in his own little, um, <laughs> way, isn't he? Like, he is, he is. And if, you, if you're listening, Jay Smug, or if anyone listening knows Jay Smug, get in touch with him. I'd love to have him on the show. Yeah, that'd be, good. be uh, yeah. you know, he's had like he's had like six battles, so you know he's been around. And that era, he was in the mix. With, he battled Mister Tongue Twister, apparently. I've not actually watched that one. Yeah, I mean, I might go back and actually check some of his stuff out because uh, uh, I don't think the Tom Kane battle was his first one. Was it? No, he, he tried. Sure he had a really good first battle. Oh, did he? Okay, he tried out against. I, yeah, New Low. It's called. I haven't actually seen it. I'll have to watch okay. it. Okay. Yeah. This was the Tom Kane battle? Was at the. Um, where Enigma battled DK wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it was a concrete, yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So um but yeah, shout out J Smug, um Battle yeah. Labs unsung uh, hero there. And you know, as I say, you know, I've got we've got him winning, but you know, villain he went on to battle Carlos at the top eight, and that's a dope battle, so Yeah, I mean this is this is um kind of similar to the two on two tournament but the but um the fact that they they put through a better person knowing there'd be a good battle at the end of it mm, mm. Um, so you you got your villain versus Carlos because I know they were mates or maybe still are mates so it, it made for a good battle you know you were excited to see that and that was at the fourth birthday wasn't yeah. it yeah yeah, yeah. Um, maybe if you'd have got Jay Smug versus Carlos it might not have been the <laughs> Same power. No, it's a weird final that <laughs> is. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, and, and Carlos like wrote. So, well, they both wrote crazy in that battle. You know, um, yeah, it, yeah. brilliant, brilliant battle from there. So yeah, yeah, maybe maybe that's a robbery um, for the good books. One robbery I can never get over. I remember watching this battle when it came out and just being like baffled that Shocks lost to Sleepy. I'll make this Brighton Queen point me out from a dock when I swing a bottle that will launch his boat. I hope you came prepared. If not, save yourself the torture and get in the bag. Everyone in this room knows I'm good for this body like a vitamin tab. I'm killing him bad. <laughs> First of all, before I start, I think there's something that really needs to be said. Because Juan said I wanted to battle a URL battler, right? Pretty fucking sure this isn't what he meant. <laughs> but, you, but you're all right, old man. <laughs> Everything bless. <laughs> that old age pensioner bus pass get you here with no stress? Because <laughs> he ain't the terrorist, nah, he's just a terrier. This little bitch barking. Shots can take the test to get ticked for this box, cause this the grade of target I've been marking. They say don't flux corny. And these URL caps, they ain't into that. So he's here trying to fill a gap, but won't fit in that like shit parking. The kid. <laughs> this is a battle that I bring up quite a lot on the show. And people have made me aware of it that like sometimes you know this is one of my go just I need to get over it I actually had Sleepy on I remember we discussed this battle and I was just trying to bite my tongue a little bit because I obviously I love Sleepy but Shox's first round is uh, like an incredible round of battle rap and I, I think it knocks anything Sleepy does out the water in this battle yeah I love the you know states are raised this is your interview of a vampire and he goes on to say something about sleep being sleep in a coffin yeah yeah sleep yeah yeah. In a coffin. yeah I love that Shox, Shox is just he, and I know he says something in his Tony battle about being out of this world, but he is, isn't he? Like, yeah. So good. Like, he I think he's. Ju it's just such a shame what's gone on to happen because he was just starting to hit his peak, and he's been, you know, mm. not not been given the opportunity to to further that. But hopefully, you know, he gets that in the future. But yeah, I mean, in this one, he yeah, another one. I mean, let me just see what I've. Uh, yeah, I've got shocks three zero in this. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Like you say, sleep. He does. He does have some good lines in it. Oh yeah. Um, the the Del Boy. Stuff, the Del Boy. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that's really good. But um, yeah, I just think again, it's another one that shocks. Just overpowers him. Mm. Um, he just comes. I, I love the. Um, I'm good for this body, like a bit. Vitamin tab, tab crazy. Good. Yeah. Um, I got this bright and raver sweating like a party on a beach. That's how I made this fat boy <laughs> for them. Yeah. Oh, that was yeah, great. Yeah. 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 Definitely shocks. Definitely took the first round for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First round's great. He has the whole Brighton Queen point me out from a dock when I yeah. swing a bottle that will launch his boat. Like, that's like a proper yeah. scheme, that is. That's a brilliant original. Just, yeah, you just got to really appreciate how does he, how does he come up with yeah. that stuff? 
I mean, if, if anyone wanted to come into the league, not with, uh, you know, wanted a bit of confidence, don't watch a shocks battle. That's fair. Because if you know that's what you you could potentially be up against, you know, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, the whole drop a tail for a lower case, you know, oh, yeah. like yeah, in, like one of Earth's biggest reactions, that one. And yeah, I mean, sleep, I, I really like Sleepy's Bar in the first, I'll, the buzz sending shocks around the circuit, um, yeah. which is, yeah. you know, really, really, really tasty there. But it's just, you know, there's just too much, you know, it is a sort of domination here for me. And, it, you know, one of the great things about going into these robberies or, or researching them, when you, you know, when you see every comment is like, what the fuck, he lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when you know, isn't it? You need yeah. to got a bit of um, some people backing you. you know, like. Exactly, exactly. I yeah. mean, uh, one thing I would like to know, though, is if Shox does have a mate called Chester. Yes, <laughs> it's Manchester. <laughs> you know, like, whether he does have a mate, I don't know. No, I'll have yeah, to... Um, I'm sure he'll be back on the show soon. And I, will, uh, I'll... I like the... Um, grab something from the knife rack and start hacking at his apple like I've just stolen his eye oh, as well. Yeah, like crazy crazy and I, I love the way the camera like pans in as he does it it gets a little closer like there's a real yeah. uh you know energy to that and yeah. you know we're going to mention another shocks battle uh, i'm sure people yeah. know which one we're going to go through it's about that i saw live actually and i remember being outside for the verdict and tweeting about this and how outraged i was <laughs> and it caused a little bit of i, I, want, I don't want to say controversy but you know people were it kind of been like what the fuck you know who are you to say this sort of thing um shocks versus tony so the legend goes if you spit three rounds you don't lose <laughs> fam if i spit one you won't move go <laughs> But I find it odd. The timing's kind of off. Because if you're talking levels in this game, bro, they know I'm the final boss. So say your, so say your prayers. Sign the cross. Confess your sins. Get right with God. Your grave's dug. You just stick to the script and I supply the plot. Do you clock the face? He came strapped. That means it's time to watch. To protect what I built, I send shots into the ground like lightning. An incredible battle. You know, we're coming up to the year anniversary at the time of us recording this. Next in line two is just around the corner. It's, you know, it's one of the best stone floor battles ever. I mean, what what are your thoughts on this, actually? Do you have shocks winning, Jeff Tony? I do have shocks winning, but this is one that I came back on and, and um, it was closer than I remembered it being. Mm. Um, I think Tony's really, like, comfortable, isn't he, in this battle? Oh, yeah. He, he is clean in this battle as well. Mm. Um yeah, and it, I, I like the whole doorman for the title shot thing that yeah. the um, battled Raptor before. It's not as clear cut as the Raptor one, no way. Mm. Um, but yeah, I do have shocks winning two one. What, what round do you give Tony? Um, I've given Tony the third round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think sho shocks. Even ju just his first bar that he comes into the battle with, <laughs> you know, he just I spit one, you won't move. Like, the the yeah. room just goes mental. <laughs> This is this is one, isn't it, where he does just overpower the yeah. the, the battle, you know, like his authority stamps it down early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's a two-one for me, but um, yeah, Tony, Tony is good in this one. Definitely. Yeah, no, no, he's fantastic in this one. It's one of his best performances, and that's saying something because he's fucking Tony mm. D, you know, who is uh, you know a god in this thing. But for shocks, though, like for me. It's not obviously he's aggressive and he talks about aggressive things in a convincing yeah. way and that adds to the you know the soup of it. For me, it's the writing though. There's something about the way he orders words, the way he hooks punches, the way he puns. It's yeah. so there's something quite gritty, even though it's quite smooth. Like I'm, you know, I'm thinking specifically about say, say the, the Indiana Jones. Um, yeah, that flip. bit's amazing. Like yeah. it's such a like because temple and whip there's there's no reaching there at all like like that they're they're just they're just terms that exist in these yeah. two worlds but it's just the con to construct that bar more than anything exactly. you know and this is it how does he do it yeah. i'd love to know because <laughs> it's just incredible like even though i've got dope lines around the globe that's an esco bar. yeah it's crazy just, yeah it's just insane and I, yeah. I think it didn't hurt in this loss it didn't no hurt going forward but because I think people appreciate with this one it's a classic and I think this could have been one where at the end it could have been the decision could have been salvaged a bit if Tony had said like oh it was close you know? yeah. but he kind of just says doesn't he at the end you know I, I tell you if I, if I spit three rounds <laughs> win, but, yeah I think most people feel that shocks did you see the um, the watch episode on this one I didn't actually know oh yeah so, yeah, so they, they reviewed this one and they yeah. all, they all thought it was a clear robbery they're going 
it'll match going back crazy at the end <laughs> and he just says it's a bad look for don't flop because i mean to be fair like we've we've really sort of scraped the bow to think and remember these battles because mm. there isn't much that are judged anymore yeah and um yeah like there's, there's plenty of battles that did go the right way so yeah yeah oh no no yeah. for sure for sure and it would have you're right it, if anything it was a boon to Shox's career just to have this sort of battle and you know to yeah. show the praise of yeah exactly and that like, you can hang and like you know you can you, obviously uh, most people think that he won and i think that's going to go forward like you know it it wouldn't do any harm you know for tony to be beaten it's kind of a good thing like you know not that he needs his fire stoked he's a fantastic you know performer but it's just a shame you know it's just it a sort of like it, it's the fairy tale as a fan of this battling soap you know it kind of would have been nicer if shocks beat tony but definitely you know, i agree i mean it, it, yeah especially for his resume to look back and say oh yeah i beat tony d yeah. like we've like we've touched on tony d probably i mean he changed the whole style of don't flop going forward yeah you know he was he was brought some serious lyricism into it yeah yeah um but yeah, like I think just shocks just deserved to win, so he should have won. That's I think that's the problem. I think that that's why so many people want promo battles mm. because you know it just doesn't get it can it just ruins the feeling for you, doesn't it? If you feel you won, and then you've got you know people going against you. I, don't, I mean, I do, I, it's just one. I think shocks just it overpowers it to the point where yeah. I don't understand like sort of how the judges have. Did he get it five zero as well? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That that was the that was the other controversy that I tweeted about. Yeah, yeah. No, it was. Which again is kind of one of those things that kind of sounds worse than it probably is. Like you know, all judges could have been split mentally. You know, three two sort of thing. So um, I mean, like you say, yeah, you could you could give Tony at three zero depending on what you like. But they're so razor thin. Mm. You know, the the rounds. I mean, I've I've just got shocks two one. But but again, like you say, the judges have obviously just seen it a different way. Mm-hmm. But there's, it's definitely like uh, not an easy one. Uh, no, 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 no. And, it, you know, it, this robbery element often makes them fun to debate as well. You know, yeah, fun to yeah, sort yeah, of definitely. to get your teeth into with other fans, commenters, whatever. So um, another battle we're going to get into and a battle that took place in exactly the same spot, actually. Uh, Fiddler's Elbow a few years before. Um, Immaculate versus Archaic. Hey, but I've got bigger fish to fry. He's an anchovy. His hands moaning. I'm fat, Tony. This is Marge returning from the shops. I'm back, homie. See, that's a fact, homie. You ain't nothing but whack, homie. And your career's so dead, Chronicle won't even book you for blind, homie. This is what happens when you put a pup near a beast. I don't give a fuck if this cunt fears police. It'll all become clear to see. You'd rather be locked up with them than up here with me. So, so you ain't snitch, right? Right? Well, that's how that goes, you damn straight. I do the same shit for my fam, so I can't hate. But your trash flow is mad bait. And against Mac, it's a mismatch. Like, like, like that nose and that face. Well, I've looked back on this, and um, originally I thought Ill Mac just sweeped him. Mm. You know, I don't know now. I mean, yeah. it's, it's quite a, it's a difficult one, this, because archaic just... Um, yeah, he's brilliant in this. He, he, his projection's yeah. amazing in this one as well. He, he is brilliant in this, yeah, because when... I think you suggested this one, and I, I, when you did, I was like, "Oh, I just remember this is a good battle." Like, I don't, I don't yeah. necessarily remember this as a robbery. And then I went on the comments, and most of the comments are actually saying, "Oh, what the fuck, Ilmac won," sort of thing. You know, yeah. Ark took it. And going back, like, one of the things that is great about these old battle videos as well is when you get the music videos or projects at the start. You're like, "Oh yeah, I remember that." And you remember Ark lights out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's at the start of this. One, it is, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember that track, and I think he did that with um, Wizard, I think. Wizard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is, uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, uniquely, this battle has a pre-battle interview as well. Um, yeah. With Steph and Ilmac and Ark. But yeah, it's quite awkward, isn't it? Yeah, it is a little, a little bit awkward. Yeah. Um, and, <laughs> um, but it's so good from a sort of historical fans point of view to see these two guys who should have really battled in 07 at the WRCs in New York now battling. Yeah, I think that's that was definitely a pull for it, wasn't it? Um, like you say, the WRCs, and they do touch upon it in this, don't they? Yeah. I think um, 
little macular says something about does he say something about you love our rings or something so, yeah 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 Is that in this like one that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i mean um yeah i think that that was the the general point though okay it went on to battle saurus as well didn't it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um yeah. but yeah i think that definitely added a, a good good element to it yeah and and arc's fucking great man in this i mean arc's great in general but he's really really good uh blowing the yank out the water like pearl harbor yeah um i love the way <laughs> i love the way arc says rude boy yeah, he, he, got, he uses slang quite well. Yeah, 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 he does. He uses it as building blocks in his bars. <laughs> Listen, yeah. rude boy, like, and then yeah, he just does it. And then he talks about an Ilmat bar being like a seventeen-year-old riding around in a real nan car. I rate it, but I don't know who the <laughs> fuck it belongs to. <laughs> yeah, even the um, it's mild returning yeah. from the shops and back home. <laughs> that, like, that's quite good. That's funny. Yeah, that is really funny. Um, I don't really. This bar doesn't really make sense, but it sounds cool. The whole if he's a big Mac, I'm his golden arch nemesis yeah i think it's, it's just referring to mcdonald's yeah yeah it? no i know it's just yeah, kind no, of i mean i don't yeah the wording's a bit but no i, I you he's know he's just it, used the word play hasn't he it doesn't yeah. really mean anything no no think. no but i mean someone like mac you know or ill as well you know i i, all, I always remember i'm not saying he's a good bob i always remember dna versus ill mac he's like they think i'm crazy i'm going backwards taking mac on cam yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not yeah, great, yeah. but you know, it's a it's an inversion there. And you know, Arcade, I love his the end to his first, which is kind of like, oh, it's so true. He's like uh, just another Yank treating don't flop like a holiday to London. Yeah, but I, yeah, I, I mean, mean that, Ilmac that's isn't, good, but, but yeah. just just not really relevant to Ill though true. because he always when he, who's he battled on? He's battled Tony D Ur and Arcade. Yeah, no, and no, no he battled Respect always, BA over here as well. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's always come prepared, hasn't he? In those, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Obviously, with the whole because he references math, doesn't he? And that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, Ilmac got a flip. I love his Pearl Harbor ship. But you bomb me only because I let it happen. Yeah, just <sighs> to come up with that yeah. within a matter of Fire. probably like half a minute. Yeah. And for it to be so clean as well, you know, not not so because some people sometimes freestyles people sort of get stuttered through, don't they? And, mm eventually get spoken but this is just so clean and precise it just gets it out straight away yeah um yeah i just think it's just a it's just a great sort of rap display isn't it yeah yeah all, yeah he's, fa- he's fantastic like it's the it's how he can sort of change up his flow like you know he says against me he's a mismatch like that nose and that face and then he's like yeah. i question their relationship and like he's just kind of like he's quite playful at times yeah. but he can be yeah. very you know i, I love his his variety yeah, exactly. Sort of, he'll go from that kind of um, sort of great writing into a kind of joke, mm. and then he'll then he'll come back to something like, "I don't want to hear about a battle that happened eight years ago when you're still living in the shadow of rappers at eight years ago." Right, so good. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. Ilmax probably my favourite uh, battler of all time, to be honest. Right. Um, yeah, mm. I love all Ilmax battles. Mm, mm, mm. Mendo. Big K, like he's just got so many classics. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really does. Yeah, he yeah. Um, he was dope think, against. He was uh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say one thing um, with Archaic talking about you know internationals using it as a free holiday. Mm. This is one thing that judging does do. Is it, is it stops people coming with a sloppy performance? Mm. Um, I mean, I know sometimes they can they can fuck up and they can choke or whatnot, but. If say like an Averb or Charlie Clips came over and they knew that it was going to be a judge battle, I'm sure they'd come with a lot better material. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. That's you know, what you say. Wouldn't come so unprepared. And, mm-hmm. um, it's it's kind of one reason why I don't watch so much URL because of how easy they take it on other platforms. Oh yeah. Not, no, I mean, not. It's not all rappers. Like Chiller Jones, he always comes with a great mm-hmm. performance, but. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think if you're someone like Charlie Clips battling Ilmac, you should be oh, a man. More excited to battle someone like Ilmac. But he kind of he was awful. Yeah, just yeah. terrible. And, yeah. and again, if that was if that was judged, you know, you would have got that. Charlie Clips wouldn't have that. You know, I free owed him, and I didn't even write for the battle. Clearly didn't treat Owen. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was. Uh, I remember it makes says like clips like a used car salesman or something like just selling like you know crappy stuff and it's uh, a really really good image and yeah this is a dope battle like I'm I'm I, I thought I thought we mentioned it you know it's kind of a famous quote unquote robbery I agree with you really I think it's quite even. Um, yeah, you know, yeah. I think I think you know, Ark's beat by all these black guys. Line is killer. Um, yeah. You know, that's even, probably the biggest reaction yeah. in the whole battle. But. Yeah, and it's like Ilmac. 
he has this certain authority and dare I say just coolness the way he delivered it where he's like I sold more than you smoked I forgot more than you wrote like you know like the authority yeah, yeah. delivers it with yeah yeah think more than you spoke or yeah that's just again it's just amazing think more than you spoke that. yeah yeah that's yeah dumb. brilliant yeah 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 but yeah that. I think archaic he wins on the punchlines doesn't he yeah. Immaculate's just the better rapper mm. um, but archaic does have the sort of the bigger moments in the battle I would say especially for crowd reaction but one thing I do like that I wrote down was um, when Ilmax on about his losses are more influential than Arcade. Yes. Wins, you know, coming over and giving Tony D a shot. and Because uh, I think that was a strange period for Ilmax because Arcade mentions in this about um, his career's dying now, look who's come over to get a little shine or whatnot. Mm. Um, it was a strange sort of time in Ilmax's career where he he kind of was maybe falling off a little bit. I think he had a bit of a break after his Arsenal yeah. battle. But then, like, if you look at where he is now, about to battle Solomon on World Dom, yeah. he's turned it again, around again and just, like, further cemented his, his legacy. Oh, it's going to be such a good battle. That's yeah, such a good match up. Um, so, so yeah, that was uh, that was Ark versus Ilmac. Next one is um, again one that if you would have asked me about a year ago, I would have been like, oh yeah, no, Mark, Mark Gris definitely was Rob versus Zane. I'm not saying Zane beat him. I'm just saying that I understand why Zane won. You beat Blizzard. That's some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got seven hundred thousand views. Those are some greatest hits. <laughs> but don't be fooled by that achievement. Congratulations, Grist. You just proved 700,000 pedophiles over Britain are, t are impatient to click on any video showing an adult raping a kid. And before I forget, copying my style's pathetic. I'd make corduroy poetic. You just like borderline diabetic. <laughs> Following suit, dudes. <laughs> Again, it's just he has the bigger moments with the with the crowd and the involvement, especially the um, the generation gap line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's a really good moment. But I think if, when you think back to this battle, you just always remember his first round mm -hmm. because the fans aren't used to him, and you know, they, they, obviously a lot of the time they are sort of laughing at him as opposed to with him, though. I feel right, right. You know, especially with his delivery, like because he, you know, he's he's just hilarious and he's a. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's a bit surreal for a lot of people exactly, in the yeah. audience, and it was a weird matchup to give Mark after the blizzard. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just like how Zayn does everything, like dresses up the same. Yeah, and, uh, I thought that was fine. I know Definition did it as well, but uh, yeah, but then, yeah. Is that after this, uh, yeah, yeah, that it was, it was a fourth birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, not, I not... think Zayn's got really. He, he was his last battle on Don't Flop was really good. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, he's um a lot cleaner, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and he's beloved over here. You know, he is. like an Uno Lavas, I guess. It kind of, you know, there yeah. is this kind of endearment quality to him. And Zayn getting out the laptop as well. Um, yeah, that a bit threw of Mark off a bit, Yeah, didn't they, that one? it did. It did. You could tell Mark was pretty rattled by that. Um, yeah, but it's just it. <laughs> it's kind of sad as well as Robbie because clearly Grist was quite pissed off by it. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Yeah, I've wrote down a lot of the lines for this because I think Gris, like, when I think fought back to this battle once you put it on the list, I, I immediately just thought, no, Zane got it because that's the bit I remember. I remember Zane's performance. Mm. But looking back and really listening to Mark's, but he does come with some great stuff. And yes, I have a girlfriend who's in the crowd supporting me. It's one of the yeah. fringe benefits of not looking like an overweight Bruce Lee. <laughs> <laughs> he, does, he does come with some great stuff in this. But, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I definitely, Zane definitely took the first round but I've got Mark 2-1 um, the second and third round just just off his writing you know he's, he does write well in his oh yeah Zane has the better performance but you know Mark's material is a lot better yeah 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 I agree it's um weird time weird battle um, but you know that yeah. is Doflob I, li I like that they put it on they could have just put they could have just done I don't know Mark Grist versus Bowski or something I'm not saying Bow Bowski makes sense as an next battle but you know maybe maybe I was thinking what does make sense and look to madness in Zane yeah and... I mean they kind of use Mark get Mark Grist as a kind of gimmick didn't they you know? yeah you know they put him up against another kind of gimmick in, in Zane with his performance and whatnot and um mm. When I think Mark could have gone on to have some like really good battles, um, but yeah, I think they, 
what, what, what other battles did he have? Did he battled like Mickey Worthless and stuff, didn't he? Yeah, he battled. Um, soul. Well, he, he battled soul? with. Uh, yeah, he battled. Yeah. He battled Soul in uh, yeah. in Edinburgh. Yeah, he got That's bodied. Right. He got bodied by Soul. Um, yeah. And uh, let's have a look. Who else did he battle? So he, yeah, he had the. Um, he had the Zane battle. Then he battled with Mixi against Pamphlet and Pedro. Yeah, he battled Mickey in uh, Latitude Festival. Was that Outlook? No, it was Latitude, wasn't it? And um, right. yeah, he teamed up with Mixi at the Fringe. Battled Grist. Uh, sorry, battled Definition. Battled all. He battled Wizard and Scissors, didn't he? He did, yeah. At no, the... I really like that one. Yeah, that's, that's, a, a, good that's a good battle. Yeah, clapping at the posh folks, like not the <laughs> opera. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. That's right. Dope, dope. Uh, he battled Spirited Sage, which is a weird battle. I remember we covered that on our episode, and Spirited Sage, like, fucking awful, and Gris is really good in that. And then is he that, had it. Was that a tryout? No, but... no, it's like at a festival. It's like a. Um, oh, okay. I think it's at a, a festival in Denmark, I believe. Oh, and, okay, um, okay, yeah. And then he had Nameless uh, was his final battle, when which was Nameless said something to her, wasn't it? Yeah, the and third round, yeah. And it's almost—I mean, we're recording this in September 2017, so we're not far away from this battle being four, um, three years old. No, four years old even. Um, so because yeah. it was 2013, so yeah. I think it seems a lot longer than that. It seems a lot longer ago than that. To me. Yeah, yeah, it's um, weird. Grist, it just um, seems like such a long time that you know you, you watch these battles. And, kind of um, grow up on Don't Flop yeah fair. like I mean I've, I've been watching it since 2011 so yeah yeah it's a long too. time me too there's loads of battles but, I remember coming out I remember I remember lying on the floor in my room uh, refreshing the Don't Flop YouTube page knowing that Clips versus Tony D was going to come out and like being <laughs> being really excited to watch it from Checkpoint like you know yeah, and that's yeah. like, that was like you know around this time so it's like it's maddening yeah yeah definitely I mean just back to to Mark yeah has he, has he stopped battling now? Uh, I believe on our episode, he may have told me this after the episode, oh, I shouldn't be revealing this, but I think he said, I don't, I don't know if he wanted to battle anyone in particular, but I think he said he was looking forward to getting back to it, to something. Yeah. You know, so, um, I don't know, chalked out, he might battle shocks or something. <laughs> yeah, or the Zane rematch. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. Sort of a cleaner Zane force. But I just think in this, it would have just been a nice, nice win for him. I think mm. because he's had kind of a few ropey battles as well. He had obviously a legendary battle with Blizzard, and then this is the next one you remember. And it would have just been nice for him to get the win because I think he did deserve the win. Mm. Um, it's not a robbery. It's not one of the. Uh, no. It's just, it's just, I'd say it's just the, the wrong decision, I think. Should, yeah. Yeah. He should have won, but again, it's just what I think the, the judges often take in the crowd reaction. Is Zayn gets a lot of crowd reaction, mm. even just from like one word he'll say, not even the punchline. <laughs> you know, he'll just say say something about his. Uh, it's just all horror core stuff, isn't it? About Essentially, yeah. Killing his misses and all. Yeah. 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 Uh, it it works. It works. As, you know, to, to a certain crowd, obviously. Um, but um, let's uh, t- uh, final one. We're going to be touching on now, and you know, there are many, many more. Please comment in the comments. Let us know. You know, uh, what other ones maybe you'd like us to explore in the future. But Sensor versus O'Shea. Since we last squared off, I've supported the likes of Klashnikov, Plan B, Jess, Jizzard, and Giggs. You've been smashing it too, kid. Eh? Supporting someone else's kids. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know this guy. He used to be in the ever and hooligan firm he truly did until one day a youthful kid put glass through his wig and the scars are proof of it you wanted to be a hard man at the weekend running with the crew and shit but when it got too hot you pussied out and that's when your weekends changed to doing this I remember yep. O'Shea on the show said that he felt Sensor won Sensor felt he won Sensor tweeted me today um, you know sort of mentioning this battle to talk about this battle like it's one of those ones where you know O'Shea had to be don't sh- don't flop champ and a you know even if sensor was going to perform better and write better it was written in the stars wasn't it it was it was always going to go that way i think and this was one i wasn't too upset about because I, they're both especially at that time they were they were the two they were the mm. two main people i always watched all their battles and i would have been happy for either of them to get it and it is a close battle again this is what we touched on upon earlier with it's just completely different styles and, mm. and O'Shea gets the majority of the crowd reaction where his sense of stuff is flow and all his bars are just so hard hit but um, only to the rappers the rappers react to sense and the crowd reacts to O'Shea yeah. and um, I mean you see Dialect I think gave it to Sensor, didn't they yep 
um, was it was it three two this one? I believe it was. Yeah, and it, yeah. I mean, there's that moment, isn't there, where O'Shea is like, "You've got supporters. I've got fans," and it's you yeah. know the crowd yeah. go mad. Yeah, I mean, I think that the problem with O'Shea's um, rounds is he talks a lot, like a bit too much about his missus being a slag. Right. I mean, just you know, just for having kids from a previous relationship. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if anything, like you got to give sense of props for. You know, yeah, like bringing up these kids and um, you know being their, their, their new dad or whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I think, um, yeah, I mean, I think at the time maybe I, I thought O'Shea won just because I was an O'Shea fan, and mm. I think, um, like I say, you, you you too can get drawn in from the crowd. It's only when you go back and watch these battles that you say, oh no, no sense. It did come with a lot um, more sort of you know better writing and whatnot. Mm. Yeah, no, completely. And, you know, it, it does depend on certain preference. You know, O'Shea, of course, mm-hmm. is brilliant and he is very good in this, but Sensor just comes with a bit more, you know, we just talked about, like, the consistency of what he's been showing and, you know, the argument does really well and he sort of flips the whole Hillsborough stuff that he did and talks about O'Shea being a hooligan and he was on that actually crushed fans. And, you yeah, know, it's... Yeah. Um, it's I like all, all this kind of Sky remote won't work so there's no watch in the Spanish league because you go... Says yeah. 888 when shopping for batteries like just to go and again that's quite an obscure one to come up with yeah um like really clever from sensor i think um, you know they both have some really good stuff in this battle this is actually probably my favorite title match mm. um aside from uh shocks for soul which obviously just happened recently yeah. but when i think back this this is it but what i will say is i think o'shea's performance versus tony is better than in this battle mm. I think that is a closer battle than this. I yeah, think. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I mean, I gave sense, uh, what did I give? Rounds one and two. So I've got Osh taking the third. Hmm. Yeah, so um, that kind of gets us to our 10 here. Obviously, there's lots more mm. we could talk about uh, that maybe, you know, we'll talk about in the future. Say, uh, yeah. uh, J-Red um, versus um, Big Daddy Bleach. Um, we could also get into Bleak versus Mr. Tongue Twister, which is yeah, an interesting yeah. one as well. C- Bam C- C- yeah. C- yeah, Bam and C, you know. Um, again, you know, let us know. I'm sure you're shouting out loads at the, on, at the uh, podcast at the moment. But um, this has been really good. And just to wrap up what we've spoken about, we spoke about Shocks versus Tony. Tony, Rapt versus Tony, Sleepy versus Shocks, Caustic versus Furts. I don't know why I'm laughing as I say that. It's just the most blatant <laughs> robbery ever. Oh, yeah. um, Matt versus Saurus, Ark versus Ilmac, Mark versus Zane, Unan and Lise versus Bam and Cystic, Villain versus J Smug, and Sensor versus Osh. Um, any any parting thoughts on the on robberies on Don't Flop? No, but I think I think what I will say is big respect to all these guys. You know, oh, like, yeah. I, I wouldn't dare do it. And, um, and this is just sort of one off performances because obviously people like Tony is one about. 20 on battles um, and these are just some of his debatable battles you know he's one yeah oh yeah so, <laughs> yeah you know yeah but I think uh, in, I do I will say that I kind of like the fact that the judging element's gone from battle rap mm. I think it's good that it's in the title matches but I think it's not really needed anymore in these yeah 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 no I, I agree with that as well and um, also you know Please, people don't take this too seriously. We're not trying to take your wins away from you or whatever. You know, judging it, yeah. judging in battle rap <laughs> is a very weird, odd thing. And, you know, we're sort of pointing out. But, it, but you know, a lot of these battles, we don't discuss before on the show, as I say. So it's very good to go through. But, um, yeah, please, you know, subscribe to the channel. Leave us a comment below. What do you think about the biggest robberies? What is your favourite robbery? And, uh, Jacob, is there any, you know, social media? Like, you got any YouTube out there or anything to share? Or? You know what? You know, off the top of my head, I don't actually know my Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> handle <laughs> i'm not on anything else just twitter just twitter Hang on. Um, let me find LFC it underscore jacob yeah think, that's it is that it okay yeah lfc underscore jacob you got it right in your Twitter handle as well <laughs> so everyone knows but uh, no that's all good man yeah so um, definitely follow Jacob and uh, this has been great man thank you for coming on bro yeah thanks for having me on mate uh, you know I'm a big fan of the show and uh, yeah keep it up 